One type of problem that you might see on your CCO specialty exam would be a gross load problem. There are two general types uh, when you have to do some calculations. There's gross load and net capacity. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to do a quick gross load problem for you. Now keep in mind when I say quick that uh, I, I'm actually going to be moving slowly to point out some of the details and some of the things we need to pay attention to when we do these problems. So it's going to seem relatively slow. When you actually take the exam, you will need to move a lot faster. And if I weren't talking and just doing the problem, probably do this problem in about four minutes. Uh, but I'll, you know, I'm not going to do it in four minutes because, again, I'm moving slowly. Uh, so you see the details uh, in the process. Again, gross load problem. Let's start with a formula for gross load. And I will be abbreviating with these formulas to save a little bit of time. GL for gross load, pardon my penmanship, GL for gross load equals OW, which is the object weight, plus deductions. Now when we're doing a gross load problem, really it might be more appropriate to call the deductions add-ons. But uh, generally speaking, the term deductions is deductions. Um, that term is used for net capacity and gross load problems. So we need the object weight plus our deductions. Our object weight is given to us in the problem. 750 pounds for the weight of the concrete bucket and 4,250 pounds for the weight of the concrete. But our deductions, we have to figure out what those deductions are from the data in the data table. And you will, when you take the exam, you will see a data table that looks something like this, maybe exactly like this. Uh, I know that the exams have changed a little bit since I took the exams last. Um, I'm, I'm guessing they're still using the same format for the data table. Uh, first thing we want to do is go to find our deductions. Let's go ahead, go ahead and draw out our configuration. And again, pardon my drawing, I'm a terrible drawer terrible artist. Okay, to draw out our configuration, I like to use a diagonal line to represent our boom and a horizontal line to represent our radius. And we have 110 feet of, of main boom and we're in mode B. Go ahead and label this. Mode B. So 110 feet uh, mode B for our main boom. We don't have a boom angle, and you don't need a boom angle or a radius for gross load problems. If you're just calculating the gross load, radius, um, boom angle, not relevant. Let's see, we have an auxiliary boom head. Now we're, we're drawing in our configuration here and all the different add-ons or deduction deductions auxiliary head and we have a 34 foot extension that's stowed on the boom and these are going to be deductions I'm not writing in the deduction weights yet because we need to look those up in the load charts. Excuse me. 34 foot and it's stowed. So we got this one and we got the boom head. One of the things you want to pay attention to when you're doing these problems on your test is don't miss any deductions. Go through the data table. Uh, column by column, row by row, make sure you're not missing anything. And I'm working my way, I've already worked my way down this column, now I'm working my way down this column. We've got 34 foot stowed, um, block, there's no block, ball, eight and a half ton, and it doesn't tell us if the, if the ball is hanging off the auxiliary head or the main boom, really doesn't matter for this problem. So let's just go ahead and hang it off the auxiliary head. And it's an eight and a half ton. And 
And the last thing that we have here would be our rigging. And it gives us the weight of our rigging in the data table. So we can go ahead and write that in. I'm going to change colors here. I'm going to be writing in our deductions. Let's put those in red. 25. That, that is a 25. Trust me on that. Okay, now we need to find up find up find the deduction weights for the other for these other components. Those deduction weights are on page five of the chart. Here we go. Uh, our first component that we need to deduct, 34 foot fly stowed. There it is. 900 and then we have our auxiliary boom head hundred and fifty pound deduction and then finally our eight and a half ton ball Three sixty, and as you study and you get a lot of practice doing these kinds of problems you're going to remember a lot of these weights a lot of these deduction weights but I encourage you every time look at the chart because you know, sometimes our memories can be a little bit on the faulty side so every time every problem even though you might remember that the 34 foot jib stowed is 900 pounds go ahead and look it up on page 5 that's going to help you avoid a potential mistake. So we have all the deduction weights for all of our components that we need to deduct. Oh, I should mention there we're using single part line with the ball so there's no deduction for wire rope with this problem. Now we get into some other problems where there are multiple parts line we may have to deduct some wire rope, but I'll, I'll get into that in some other problems, how we deal with uh, deducting the weight of extra wire rope. Uh, one other thing I wanna go ahead and put in here, we have our object weight. Let's go ahead and represent that. And our drawing here, we got 750 for the bucket and 4250 for the concrete, 750 plus 4250. Let's go ahead and I'll bring my calculator up here. Let's go ahead and add up our deductions. Nine hundred plus one fifty plus 360 plus 25, 1,435 is the total weight of our deductions. One thousand four hundred thirty-five pounds. Now we have everything, all the numbers that we need to go back and plug into this formula, we can do that. So our object weight is 750 plus 4250. Let's go ahead and add that. And you're probably wondering, why did he add that up? Why did he use the calculator? Could have easily done it in my head. You could easily do it in your head. But use the calculator. Uh, just like you know, looking up the deduction weights every time I encourage you to use the calculator for every problem don't try to do it in your head even though you're perfectly capable of it that's where mistakes can creep in go ahead and use the calculator it's a tool that's available to you go ahead and use it so our object weight uh, the bucket and the concrete 5,000 pounds plus our deductions 1435 We do this addition, we have our gross load. So we have 5,000 already in the calculator, plus 
1435. Our gross load is 6,435. And we go over to our answer choices, and sure enough, 6,435 is one of our answer choices. That is the correct gross load for this problem. All right, that's pretty much it for the gross load problem. I'll be doing some additional uh, tutorials on net capacity and maybe another gross load problem also.